Number 10. Salmon Salmons have a unique migration story. The fishes move to fresh water for two to three years to hatch their eggs. Their stay in the rivers helps them transform and build back the scales and attitude to transfer to salt water when the time is up safely. Therefore, they stay in salt water for three to four years until reproduction, and then they move into rivers again. The spawning period is essential for their psychological build and recoupment. The return journey is the easiest for salmons. Their navigation is incredible and somewhat magical. A salmon's brain detects the exact magnetic field of its birthplace. Thus, they can see and return to the precise place of birth. As all salmons are hatched in rivers, they have an attachment to them. In fact, their sense of smell is another benefit when they have to find their homes. Altogether, salmons cover 3,800 kilometers in a complete migration. Number 9. Monarch Butterfly The family of insects does not migrate very prominent distances. They usually do not have a long lifespan to make trips worldwide. Monarch butterflies, a member of the insect family, remain one of the few who migrate long distances. They are not exempt from the short lifespan situation. However, they are not opposed to spending three months on a migration. Depending on the seasons, they are native to North America, but have exoduses across the continent. Monarch butterflies can make a 4,800 kilometer trip to complete a migration during the winter. Since they cannot stand the cold conditions up north, they fly to California and Mexico areas. They fly into Mexico and California with the help of the Earth's magnetic field. Although an impressive run, the insect with the longest migration is still coming up later in the video. Number 8. Caribou First of all, they do not all live with Santa. The reindeer are actually common in Europe, Asia, and North America. However, they might be right about them working for Santa because once summer approaches, they start migrating. Their hooves make it easy for them to find food during winter. They dig out whatever they want to eat. However, they need to go to places with fresh grasslands during the summer. Caribou migrate for food in large numbers. You can find a herd of caribou numbering over 50,000. The numbers help them defeat other smaller groups of predators along the way. Sometimes they can cover over 70 kilometers in a single day on their journey. That strength is attributed to their speed and skills. A caribou can swim at 10 kilometers an hour and run at 80 kilometers an hour. The summertime is dedicated to grasslands. The herd locates grasslands and can consume over 5 kilograms each. Their journey to other places begins once summer ends. In total, they migrate over 5,000 kilometers each year. Number 7. Semi-Palmated Sandpiper These Canadian residents travel to the southern parts of the United States once a year. They avoid harsh weather conditions because we know Canada is cold and make it back in time around mid-May for the summer. The bird is tiny, but it has a mighty flight power. In fact, it makes non-stop flights over the Atlantic Ocean. Note that the Atlantic Ocean is the second largest of the world's five oceans. Of course, the semi-palmated sandpiper flocks in a group. Sometimes they migrate in groups of over 1,000. The sight of the tiny birds making their grand entry into the south of the U.S. is one for sore eyes. Number 6. Dragonflies The dragonfly does not make a return migration as the others on this list do, and they end up long dead before the time to return happens. Thus, only four generations of dragonflies return to the starting point. To illustrate, only the great-grandchild of the first dragonfly returns to the initial point. It's pretty unfortunate, but that is their life, and they are at peace with it. Notwithstanding, the insects travel to southern Asia during the winter season. They follow the direction of the northern winds and their magnetic fields. Dragonflies cover over 17,000 kilometers during a single migration. One might wonder how their thin wings carry them that far. We wonder too, because the dragonfly is easily the most underestimated animal if you consider migration and flying across continents. 
Note that not all the dragonfly population of the world migrates. Only 50 different types of dragonflies do. It might sound like a massive number until you learn that there are over 5,200 species of dragonflies in the world. Number 5. Leatherback Turtle They're slow on land, but are they slow swimmers? Slow enough that they cover over 20,000 kilometers of ocean stretch in search of food and breeding purposes. They can travel from the end of the Pacific Ocean to the coast of California to find jellyfishes. The leatherback turtle is one of the largest among the species of sea turtles. You might remember them as the sea turtle with a smooth outer layer. Their large frame does not deter them from exhibiting strong migratory behavior. Number 4. Northern Elephant Seal The northern elephant seal is originally native to the coasts of California. Not that you could get that from its name. The seal starts and ends its journey at the exact spot it began. We can blame the magnetic field for that too. They return in the winter for breeding as they wait for the next opportunity to be the second longest migratory among animals. Their migration usually happens across 21,000 kilometers under ocean water depth, close to the ocean floor. They're not likely to be spotted at the ocean's top unless there is a significant reason. Since the dietary choices of the male and female elephant seals are different, they use different routes during migration. The females prefer squids as their primary prey, while the males demand small sharks and rays. Most of the male's prey is located in the Gulf of Alaska. Although they use different routes and choose other foods, they move towards the same destination. Number 3. Humpback Whale Whales are travelers. They like to migrate around the world. Out of all the mammals, whales make the longest migration. The humpback whales in particular are notorious for traveling a total of 22,000 kilometers each year. They also migrate in parts and groups. When the time for migration comes, the females and younger whales move first. Then, when they are secure ahead, the large males follow in another group. Their massive fins and tails make their movement effortless and quick. Moreover, they are apex predators, so they do not worry about being crossed on their journey in the ocean waters. The journey starts around summer when they're near the polar regions. They tend to move to the equator to feed on smaller fishes during the winter. Number 2. Sooty Shearwater the Sooty Shearwater is the second on our list of migratory animals globally. Their journeys are quite well calculated, although very straightforward. The bird breeds and makes colonies during the summer in the wilds of New Zealand. Their migration starts around winter when they move to the Pacific region searching for food. The trip is not that eventful. Every day they wake up and cover over 1,000 kilometers. Unless there is secret fun in flying non-stop all day in search for food, we do not envisage this will be exciting. At the end of the year-round trip, they would have covered 65,000 kilometers. When they're flying, they follow the direction of the global wind system. They spend time eating squids and krill in the Pacific region so that they can return to New Zealand and focus on breeding. The trip lasts for 200 days by the time they return and are ready to spend summer at home. I know you assume that would make it 200,000, but that is not how it works. They only do 65,000. Even number one does not cover 200,000 kilometers. Number one, Arctic Turn. We are tempted to say that flying is easier, but it might not always be accurate. Otherwise, the list would be filled with birds. Nonetheless, this bird, the Arctic Tern, which only weighs 113 grams, makes the longest migration in the animal kingdom. The bird trips from the Arctic Circle to the Antarctic region and then flies back home before the year ends. The round trip covers over 71,000 kilometers of geographical distance. Aside from the distance covered, they are also the animal that experiences the most daylight in the world. They move over to the other side in September and then experience a double summer by the time they return. 
Their migration touches parts of Africa and Europe as they fly in an S pattern to and from their destination. We might say it's an extreme travel cycle, but it is worth the trip if you do it on your wings. Which of these animals shocked you with their migration record of accomplishment? We know the dragonfly surprises us. Please share your thoughts with us in the comments below.